Hi everyone. Welcome back to more Infernium. <clears throat> Just got through getting the other harvest finger. So now we can go back to the waterfall area. Or really the prison area so that we can get to the sun. Ooh, no, did not want to do that. Okay, let's go back here. Come on. Sometimes it feels like you're not even moving at all. It feels like you're just jumping between two, two pieces and that's it. Now there's another way you can go, which actually, why not? We'll go the other way, just so you can see the loop around that it does. Because this world exists all in one big infinite loop. But I'm going to need light for that. Hmm. I can get some light right here. Oh, I did not open that one. Oh. That is a problem. Okay. Okay. I already see this is the spot where I was talking about where you can actually jump up there. Oh my god. That is the first time I've ever done that. Holy crap. But yeah, you can actually use that to bypass this whole arena. I saw Jess for Life do that, and I was like, no way. I tried that so many times. Ooh. Don't know why that took. I'm trying to get over to this tree. Wait. Oh, it's over there. Okay. I don't see nothing there. It's hard to tell where these bomb dudes are at. Everything is so red and bright right here. Ooh, okay. Where are you going? You're going this way. I need you to go back that way. Thank you. Ooh, I was hoping I was not too close for that. I need three harvest fingers. So that's why I'm trying to get as much light as I can before I head over to this thing. So you got the pretty blue flowers. Let's 
so cool. See, we're going down. So if you recall, we came down an elevator into that arena and then down some stairs into the Crimson River. Now we're at the Crimson River. Now we're going down beneath the Crimson River. We are on our way to the sun. Big magma chamber. Ah, and here we go. Oh, all we need is a triangle. I could swear we needed three harvest fingers. Yep, so this is the place where I showed y'all in a previous video, where we were in the sky. See? Big blob thing, and there's the desert. Or the plains, I should say. that one. Sometimes it's best not to tempt it with it being on the edge. All right, let's activate the elevator because it's still at the bottom where we left it. That's the thing about this game, is it leaves the elevators and the doors where you left it. So if you open up a shortcut, it's open up forever. There's no going back. Which is both good and bad. Go to this carn real quick. Where do I need to go? I need to go to over here. I just know if you go off. Ooh, that kind of startled me. Off to the right a bit instead of going straight to the boat, you'll be good. Alright. Going back into the rainy castle.
boxing. I already know about the enemy. And this is probably the longer way to get to the sun. If I'd gone the other way, it probably would have been quicker. But either way, it's a bit of a trek. I just wanted to go this way to show you that it goes into a full circle. Which way you go, forwards or backwards, really doesn't matter. Up or down. And it would be kind of nice to just jump down, but there is fall damage. And anything greater than like 10 or 15 feet, it's automatically you're a goner. I always go the wrong one. There's a big ball of light there. I need to remember that. I mean, there's a ton of light in this castle. Sweet. So creepy. Did y'all hear that? There was like someone going, ah. Uh, what was that? I don't think I've ever heard that sound in this game. But it's just like I was talking about in the previous video. I played this on my TV in the living room. And playing it with headphones has been a completely different experience in the sounds. Like, I'm hearing sounds I didn't even know were there. You know, in another game, I'm really, really excited to go back and explore this Alien Isolation. Because I played that game twice. Uh, a normal mode and hard mode. And both times I did it on my TV in the living room. And because I did it that way, it was hard sometimes to hear when enemies were around. Or which direction they're going. And then when Nintendo uh, decided to do that whole Bluetooth integration thing and I could finally uh, use my Bluetooth headphones, I actually played a little bit of the game just to see what it was like. It was so much better with headphones. Like if you're going to play Alien Isolation, you've got to do it on headphones. Makes it so much better than just some speakers blowing out from the TV. I'm trying to think. I'm trying to think of which way to go. Because we can go back to the fortress area to get down there, but I think that's actually longer than just going down here. I think. Well, we're about to find out. I may get lost. The castle area, I understand perfectly. 
It's this cave area down here that confuses me for some strange reason. Yeah, I have so many games that I'm looking forward to doing. Alien Isolation is one. Soma's another. I've not played Soma. So I'm looking forward to that one. I'm actually not sure. I'm just gonna follow. I never opened this up. Oh my god. Yeah, I never opened it. Oh, that sucks. Okay. Oh, that's not so bad. Go for a walk. Okay, it's right there. Where are you at? Come on. Okay, come on. Let's go. was it at? Right here. I did not open this up. Can't believe I missed that. See now. Whoops. In the prison. So. You can just easily come right in here. Don't have to do that whole switch, that whole run. Can't believe I forgot to open that. Oh well, it's not that bad anyway. Yeah, it's right here. It's right behind that door. for a walk so and that's how you do that puzzle I think the last time I was here I actually cheated and went up to the top but yeah you activate them you do the switch activate them then run around do the switch again see and here and this is that whole maze with those big double doors And this right here is where the sun is at. You gotta teleport through. And go down. I think I just... Ooh. Ooh. Okay, that was... That was not good. <laughs> Almost died right there. Let's 
Silent Catacombs. Is what that maze thing was. And this is called The Descent, but for these explorers, it was uncharted. They hadn't gotten to it yet. And this is the descent. Amazing. So in this descent, there are three trials you have to do. One is a ritual where you light the fires and set the numbers while being chased by cloaks. But if you got the triangle, you can just skip it. So there's like three different things you need in order to get by. Uh, the first one's the triangle. The second one is the long dash. Then you can bypass the second one. See in this one you get chased by cloaks. I think one of them might even be a purple. D I don't quite remember. I did it once just for the hell of it, but if you have the triangle piece you can get by here just fine. Oh, and then you need the flashlight. Yeah, because this one over here is just an entire cave of darkness, or caves, with blue guys. But I think if you have the flashlight, then you don't have to worry about running around these guys. You can just bypass it. I think. Yep. And then the third one, you need, like, the long dash. Gotta be careful right there. Yep, see? They like to lurk around that corner. No. Because I've actually been killed coming right here. And he comes right around the corner. And then you can go up here. And it takes you to a bridge with a bomber guy. Uh, but if you have the long dash, then you don't have to worry about it. Come on. And this is where you come out of that bridge. Which is just up there. You can kind of see part of it right there. Because there's like a hole in the floor. You go up there, cross over here, and then back down. Then another ritual. I think the top one... I guess just had blue and red cloaks. This is the one that actually has the purple. Okay. And then the compass. Right here. Which again, you don't even need the compass to get through here. So you just gotta look. It's this one. And really it's not even that many to look at. I mean, all you gotta do is try teleporting. You know. You can't there. Can't there. Can there. Whoops. There we go. Oh, well, gotta be a little bit closer. Um, there we go. But yeah. It's really not that complicated. I need three. So you really don't need the compass. Then this is to be the sun. This is probably the most beautiful area in the entire game. The heaven area is quite beautiful too, but this is amazing.
And there are no enemies, so you don't have to worry. Ah, uh, so good. Amazing. That's much better. Oh, so beautiful. All this light. See all of it. And I would suggest if you're going to come back and leave, get all of these with the, the glowy roots. Because those will recharge. This one won't. So once you leave, this is gone forever. But this one will come back. Ah, oh, so beautiful. And the background music ain't bad either. It's really calm, angelic type music. All right, so there's a fountain down below, which we go to. You just have to teleport down there. Yeah, that'll be fine. We can waste you. And the one cherry tree on the edge of the world, overlooking the solar system. Dude, that is so cool looking. I could just stare and stare at that. I'm trying not to die because I just realized the last point I saved was in the castle, so that'd be a long trek back. It does make me nervous being on the edge like this. I'm trying to remember where it's at. It's like way far down. Like it's almost not even worth it. Because there's other light, other places. That's much easier to get to. Huh. <laughs> um. Huh. Where is it? This is odd. I do not like being out here one bit. Uh oh. Uh oh. Hmm. 
Hmm. Crap, what have I done? It's one thing I don't understand is you put this place with all this light, and then you make it so hard to find it. The little cavern that I need to go into to refill everything. Why won't you let me jump? There we go. See, you just made it so hard to find. And then you need to sacrifice three fingers. See, now we're in here. Huh. Not exactly sure how you get there. So after all that traveling, I was only able to put two. That's it. Two fingers. All right. There must be another way down, I've just missed it. But every time I've managed to get in there, it's always been through going down here. And it's such a pain in the butt. That I'm just like, you know, really punishes the player after you went through everything to get down here. All that hard work just to get all this light and then you have to do some extreme cliffside climbing just to get to the fountain. Let's fill everything up. You know, and if this is your first playthrough of this game, this area is so amazing. Because most likely you've used up a lot of light, restoring a lot of lives, and you're starting to get stressed and worried. Then you come across this place that's just infinite light. So relieving. All right. 
Now we got some doors to open up and some shortcuts. Back into the descent. You know that movie, The Descent, was actually a pretty good movie. I like that. It just seems so stupid when I heard about the premise, but I've gone back and watched it. Like first time I watched it, I thought I was a bit stupid, but I've gone back and watched it several times. And it's actually a pretty decent movie. Alright. Didn't have to open that shortcut, but it helps. Now we can go back and get more light. Pretty light. One more small one and then we'll go. I could probably fit one more. There we go, that was perfect. Now we got five. We're going to go down, um, to where you go when you die. See, it's on the elevator. Such a dirty trick. Come on. Come over here. I right, just chill out. Yeah, the first time I ever played this game, that was a huge fear of mine. Was getting an elevator with the cloak on it. And then here you do it right here. I remember the first time that happened, that scared the crap out of me because you get so used to it. 
I mean, you're expecting it, expecting it, expecting it. And by the time you get here, you think, oh, well, I guess he just decided that would be too cruel. And then the developer went and did that. Here we go. Need four fingers. Ooh, oh, oh yeah, that's right. Oh god, that scared me. Come on. Come on. Come say hello. Okay. This has to be open from the other side, I believe. Which means we've got to go in here. And there's a bunch of them in here. Like five or six. That's three. Why won't you work on him? Come on, come back. I want to shake your hand. It ain't working very well. Not as good as it used to. Alright. Open this up so we don't have to deal with them again. Perfect. And then we are back out here. And that takes you down. Down there. So. So that takes you down to the. Why not? It just occurred to me if I went through this barrier, it'll reset that red cloak on that elevator. Which is a bit troublesome, but oh well. So see? Back to where we started with our light. Alright. So if you run it completely out of lives, this gives you a shortcut to get back so you can get to the sun and get more lives. Okay. So can do this, okay. Come on, let's go for a walk. Now if it was a blue cloak, I probably wouldn't be going through all this trouble. But it's just a red one. Those are easy to avoid. The blues are a bit more troublesome. And if it was a gray cloak, I definitely would not be going through this. And in the new game plus, he actually changed it 
where some of the red cloaks are now blue and some of the blue are gray and then he's added some extras that used to not be there like if you looked at some of the maps some of the maps show cloaks in spot but when you go to the actual spot they're not there but in the new game plus the harder one they will actually be there and then there's bombers and blue guys all over the place like the memorandum was just crawling in bombers in the hard game and it makes it so difficult oh crap where am I going ah screw it I was gonna fill up all my light but I'll get plenty on the way back up I saw you had a little friend. I think it was this way. Yep. See, and that's something about not having a map in this game. You know, when you pull, have a map that you can just pull up and see where to go, it's not really imperative to learn where you, where you are. You know, it's not imperative to learn the map, but in this game, there is no map. You can't just pull it up. There's no little HUD off to the side seeing where you're going. You actually have to memorize where you're going. And I think the game just sticks with you a lot better because of that. And because you're on edge and you don't know what's going on or knowing where the enemy's going, I think it ingrains the map into you even further. Because I had this whole world memorized so well. And I think it's because I was on edge the entire time I was playing it. And then I had to traverse back and forth so many times. Trying to figure out where to go. I don't remember how you get out of this. Okay. Here we go. That area I did not remember. I could not remember the where to go. Alright, and you'll remember this with the cloak. Well, we can use this opportunity to get some light. Because he is up ahead. It's right around that corner.
See, there he is. Ah, oh, so beautiful. Here. And gather all the light on the way back. All the little bit of light we left ourselves. I think you can get up here like this. I'm trying to remember how you get out of this maze. I think you gotta go back to the silent catacombs. I said it's it's a journey to get in and out of this place. Ooh, there's light down here. That was a big orb. I wasn't sure if I was going to be able to get that. Okay. Was that noise? <laughs> I am tripping. I guess this game, like, I thought I heard footsteps, like, in my house. <laughs> you know, and I didn't think my character was moving, and yet I still heard it. Yeah. 
There we go. We are back here. Can I get you? This is always a pain going up. Down isn't so bad. Red cloak, I see you. And that requires three fingers. And that does nothing but open up like a little shortcut. It's like back to the castle or something like that. It's really not that useful. Especially for three fingers. And then you have a habit of actually activating that cloak every time you jump to that platform. So it's really more of a trick than something that's actually helpful. We're back in the memorandum. We've gotten everything. We've got the triangle. We've gotten the circle. We've gotten five harvest fingers. We've opened the path up to the sun and gotten light and a little bit more life. We are good to head up to heaven. So I'm going to end the video right here. And next time we will proceed up the staircase. So thanks for joining me and see you next time.